Staying with India and the tragedy in Hathras, it's a district in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Yesterday, there was a religious function there. 250,000 people showed up. But the venue could accommodate only 80,000. The situation got out of hand. There was a stampede. More than 100 devotees were crushed to death. The gathering was organized by a local preacher, a man called Narayan Sakar Hari. Before he became a godman, he served as a cop in the local police for nearly two decades. He's now being blamed for the stampede. Police have submitted a preliminary investigation report. It says that the devotees were rushed, the, 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 the devotees rushed towards this man for his blessings. His security pushed and shoved them away, and that caused the stampede. The godman is now missing. The entire episode is distressing and tragic, and unfortunately not a first. It exposes many pressing issues in India, like the safety of devotees. Anyone who's visited a major place of worship in the country would tell you that unregulated crowds are common. And these so-called men of God exploit the faith and misery of the poor while the administration looks the other way. Our next report has more. It is a disaster which could have been avoided. The space where these devotees had assembled wasn't small. Permissions were in place to host up to 80,000 people, but the event went out of control. More than 250,000 devotees showed up. That's three times more than capacity. The state government has ordered a judicial probe. The investigators will encounter some familiar issues. Issues which most devotees in India deal with when they visit a place of worship. Overcrowding is a common feature at such venues. In the recent past, it has led to many mishaps. Like what happened in 2022 in Kashmir on New Year's Day. Thousands of Hindus had gathered at a famous shrine. The crowd was too large. There was a crush and 12 people died. Something similar has happened at Hathras. The organizers say they spent more than two weeks preparing for the event. But early inquiries have revealed some clear gaps in the arrangements. The event happened inside a giant tent. Reports say there were not enough exits, and the crowds had blocked the existing ones, making it difficult for people to leave. The families of the victims say there was no crowd management and no medical staff on standby. To make matters worse, the ground was muddy due to rains. Many people lost their balance, they slipped and fell, only to be crushed by the crowd. This incident fits into a pattern of mishaps. Religious gatherings in India are quite prone to such incidents. A few years back, some researchers looked into this, and what they found was shocking. 79% of all stampedes in India happen at places of worship. Broadly, there are two factors to blame, the lack of crowd control and lapses by organizers in planning and coordination. Such incidents have taken thousands of lives in the past. Between 2001 and 2014, India witnessed over 3,000 stampedes. Most of them happened at religious events, and they have killed more than 2,400 people. Clearly, India needs more robust measures to protect devotees at places of worship. Demands are being made for better safeguards. India's Supreme Court has received a petition. It calls for an inquiry into the Hathras stampede. The petition wants an expert committee to be set up under the supervision of a retired judge. It also calls for the framing of guidelines and safety measures for public gatherings. This is a cause that everyone should champion.